Hello students. Today, we are going to learn Chapter 1 Fundamental Knowledge and Skill of Computer. In this chapter, we cover given topics Introduction to Computer, Input Devices, Output Devices, Processing Devices, Storage Devices, Introduction. Computer is an electronic device that accepts data and instructions from the user, process the given data, and gives the meaningful output. The word computer is derived from the word computare which means to calculate. In the early phase, the computer is designed to do the calculation. But later it developed to do different tasks. Nowadays, we use computers in different places like schools, hospitals, research centers, shopping malls, etc. We use a computer to send emails, play video games, launching of a missile, news broadcasting, and so on. Does anyone know? Why do we call computer an electronic device? Because it runs with the help of electricity. Now next topic is the working principle of the computer. A computer generally works with input, process, and output. IPO cycle. Here we can add the user as well because without the user computer can't work. That's why the user is also a very important part of this cycle. Last but not least here storage is the optional part of this cycle. If users want to save their work for future use, they can use this option otherwise not. So now we can say that it is the UIPOS cycle. Here U stands for user, I for input, P for process, O for output, and S for storage. Now here we discuss the main parts of the computer. A computer system has input devices, processing devices, output devices, and storage devices. All of these combine to make a computer system. Here input is the important topic. Input is the process of accepting raw data. Or we can say that it is the process of giving raw data to the computer. It is done with the help of some devices that are known as input devices. Here we must clarify that input and input device both are different terms. Input devices are those devices that are used to instruct the computer. They are a mouse, keyboard, microphone, joystick, and so on. Now the next topic is processing. The process of converting the raw data and instruction into meaningful information is known as processing. Here processing is done with the help of a processing device like a CPU. Here CPU stands for the central processing unit. CPU is also known as the brain of the computer. It controls the overall performance of the computer as well. Now the next topic is output. The process of displaying the result is known as output. It is done after processing. Those devices that are used to display the output is known as an output device. They are monitor, printer, plotter, and speaker. Here output has two types first soft copy output and hard copy output. Here soft copy output is an output that is not produced on a paper or some materials which cannot be touched or carried for being shown to others. They are temporary. The monitor is the soft copy output device. Another one is hard copy output. The output prints on paper is a hard copy. Hard copy output is permanent. The printer is the hard copy output device. Now the last topic of lesson 1 is storage. The process of storing the process data given by the user temporarily or permanently is known as storage. Memory like RAM stores the data temporarily whereas hard disk and pen drive stores the data permanently for future use. 